when I keep it kawaii. <laughs> so. All right. Episode two of Nerf Mercs. <clears throat> Gears. Frisco Bandito. Today we're going to talk about uh, the new blasters coming from Busby. Um, first thing uh, on the table, both of us are incredibly excited about it, the Reaper. Um, not only does it perform well, it's beautiful. Yeah, man. It's uh, super cool aesthetically. Um, kind of has that weird Chris Spector aesthetic that everyone's mm -hmm. kind of into right now. Um, with a huge sweeping, uh, I guess kind of like magazine, uh, I guess like faux magazine system up on the bottom. But um, yeah, man, it's super enjoyable, really cool to use, um, really affordable. And uh, man, I just really, really like this blaster. Uh, for so many reasons. Uh, not only do I like the blaster, uh, you know, physically, but performance-wise, it's right up there with all of, like, Busby's latest iterations. Um, everybody loves the Sentinel for, uh, lots of different reasons. Um, but man, this thing, it, uh, shoots super well out of the box. Um, do you have anything particular you like about it? Yeah, we talked about the, the, the molding on the shell and this part here, it almost looks like uh, like the modern laser cut Molly stuff. It's got this like really super tactical feel and then it's juxtaposed by this like 90s doctor waiting room Taco Bell aesthetic yeah. on there. It's so silly, it's cool. And if this were on uh, a blaster that had awful lines, we'd look at that and think, meh, whatever. But this like, Vector look and this snub nose, this gigantic top slide. I, th I think this blaster is beautiful. Yeah, I think it's great. And uh, best part, twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Two eight round magazines. Uh, I think mine was a Kmart exclusive, uh, so that's why it's the really interesting uh, yellow and green. I've seen it in other okay. some YouTube videos where it was uh, I think blue and red. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, man. Two eight round magazines. Uh, Twenty four darts uh, for twelve dollars, man. Like this is. Such an awesome buy, um, especially for like uh, new HVZ players, man. You're going to your first mission. You're not sure what you're getting into. It's your first time ever playing. Like this will get you through like your first game, man. Like this is really really cool. Compatible uh, with you know Nerf brand darts and obviously Nerf magazines, just like all of uh, Busby's latest stuff. Um, this is it, man. I feel like this is uh, the blaster to uh, pick up for any prospective HVZ players for uh, you know fall 2016. Obviously, until the Magnum drops. Right. Agreed. Uh, yeah, 14 or $12, you $12. say? $12. Yeah, 24 darts. Uh, add $5 in socks to that, and that can get you three through at least a couple of missions if you're, yeah. like, actually playing. Or the whole day if you're, like, some players that I've seen who mm -hmm. don't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So, uh, so we'll talk about that. We'll not yet, about, at least. Yeah, that'll we'll be another save one. Save the salt for later. So a thing that Busby is doing really, really well... Uh, I think they're doing it better than Nerf is, is doing reshells. Yeah. So Nerf is starting to do it with, with all these sort of strife reshells. We've got the Desolator, yeah. the Strife, the Rapid Red. Um, I'm sure there's some other ones, the, the Modulus sort of. Yeah, I mean, that's of. kind of been the running joke with a lot of Nerfers, too. It's, uh, you know, what flavor of Strife are we going to get this season? So. Right. And it's not a terrible idea, mm -hmm. right? If it looks good in the box or it looks a little different and the performance is where it needs to be, yeah, I mean, yeah. we're both active nerfers. I mean, we kind of uh, go to these games and we see, you know, it's predominantly, uh, you know, flywheel dominated, especially with, like, uh, aftermarket parts lately, uh, especially with guys who are into 3D printing. A lot of it does go to, uh, you know, strifes uh, specifically. But, um, I mean, you look at these uh, aftermarket part manufacturers, uh, Dr. Sneakers, Blaster, uh, Blaster Parts, Blaster Parts, mm -hmm. um, and you see, like, other, like, 3D printers, you know, they're all focusing uh, predominantly on flywheels. So I guess it makes sense for Nerf to kind of continue that, uh, you know, that trend. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, each shell, I personally think, is a little bit cooler than the last. Like, I uh, I personally really like the Desolator shell. It's an awesome blaster where, you know, if you're going, if you're traveling to a game, if you're, you know, uh, you got five minutes before you have to go out to an HVZ mission or, you know, you sleep in late for your Nerf war and you got to just grab something, you know, out of the closet. Uh, Desolator, man, that's that's... That's a fully packaged blaster. There's there's no frills to it. You know you don't have to Fair worry enough. about what stock am I going to pick. Um, one complete unit. I kind of like that a lot. I think out of the box, if it's a choice between Desolator and what's on the table, I'm definitely grabbing that. Yeah. Those batteries are not going to run dry. <laughs> it's it's smaller. It's more compact. You get more with it, like we were talking about. Um, and I was mentioning if the performance is there, reshell what shell it looks like is just sort of the flavor of the month. Yeah. You can buy have as many of them as you want. Mm -hmm. So this. I mean, this 
yeah. the inside of this is uh, is is like the champion. The champion was a really good good blaster. It was kind of ugly. Um, yeah, it's also really similar favorite. to the Sentinel on the inside, and then also similar to uh, a Abraham's M16 in the That's Walking right. Dead line, uh, which like has the super goofy cartoon M16 aesthetic with this carry handle that is. It is the top it's the slide. slide. Mm -hmm. So I am not excited about that. I know that you really are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of pumped for it, uh, just in the way that, like, I mean, I'm not a super huge Walking Dead fan. Uh, so, I mean, just kind of seeing the old blaster that kind of resembles, like, the M16 a little bit, uh, even though it kind of has that bubbly, you know, kind of, uh, you know, weird... It's like Looney Tunes. It's almost <laughs> like Looney Tunes, yeah. I'm trying to think of, like, a... You know, a way to describe like how fat and bulbous and strange it is, mm -hmm. but um, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's interesting. Not definitely out of uh, I guess like the choices to pick for in terms of uh, best blaster of the fall 2016 season. Um, not my number one. Right. Definitely not my number one. But uh, you'd think it would be. Uh, it's uh, my style of Springers. I love. I love a, a short stock, I love a top prime, and mm -hmm. I love a carry handle. Those are my favorite things. If I have a blaster that I like that doesn't have those things, I try and incorporate as many of them into it as I can. Yeah, it's, but I just don't want Abraham's rifle. I don't want it. There's, uh, there's like, if you were to talk to, to Gears, you know, uh, in his like college HVZ days versus, uh, you know, post, post HVZ, where I still try to go out and play invitationals and stuff. Uh, back then, man, my blasters needed to be full size, like an actual firearm. Mm -hmm. Had to, uh, you know, full stock, uh, you know, long as hell barrel. Uh, but now, man, it's so different. Where like I'd actually, you know, want something small and compact. And I'm kind of, you know, looking away, uh, trying not to look at blasters in, and I guess like an aesthetic, uh, aesthetic standpoint. But um, just kind of in the way that, like, you know, what is this blaster going to do for me? Um, I guess like in terms of, like a philosophy of use kind of way. Um, what does this blaster do? How's it going to benefit me? What I mean, you look at the Reaper, and there's, there's no frills to it. No. There's nothing. There's nothing extra. There's nothing uh, superfluous. It's it's just. I don't know. It's compact, and it's it's what you need to get it done. Yeah, exactly. Busby, where are my new megas? Ooh, Ooh that's right. Man, that's last right. year, Baron, Tyrant. Boss, Tyrant. Tyrant. I mean, that was the story of the year for me. Yeah, I know you were super big into those, and I kind of uh, kind of followed you a little bit in terms of, you know, getting hype, hype for the Mega Line. Um, yeah, nothing nothing this season. Nothing so far. It's so weird. Um, Maybe I'm missing out, but, man, um, nothing. The Tyrant was so awesome. Tyrant it was such was, a cool blaster. Tyrant, About three of them. Yeah, Tyrant mm -hmm. was great. Uh, you know, super huge uh, magazine capacity. Um, Shell was super, you know... Um, Super, super huge, I guess, <laughs> and uh, you know, kind of left a lot to, uh, I guess, to the modder if they wanted mm -hmm. to add, you know, stocks, pump grips, uh, anything. Anything stuff um, underneath it. So yeah, I mean, it's just a super, yeah. super awesome shell to work with, <clears throat> but. And it is so silly Nothing. to have a gigantic magazine that's the size of a plate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's so much fun to Crazy just shoot style. giant darts coming out of a giant magazine mm -hmm. at your buddies. Yeah, and I mean, that was uh, what originally drew me to the, uh, I guess, the Mega Line from Nerf originally, where, you know, all these blasters, they looked like uh, they looked like hot rods. Mm -hmm. I mean, these super awesome red blasters. It's big and red, the, yeah. The red, you know, <laughs> all right, super red uh, crazy blasters with the white racing stripe that was so awesome looking. Um, so it was so cool to see other blaster companies, you know, kind of follow that trend. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was interesting that there's nothing, nothing revealed this season. Um, I think another I thing. Wait and see. You know, Busby shifting gears a little bit, talking about the destiny. Yeah. Just a touch. I don't want to talk about it for too long. I feel like everyone else is losing yeah, their but, mind over this thing. Um, what do you think about it? Man, I. I'm not a big fan of full auto to begin with. Yeah. I feel like it's a really good way to waste your time loading darts to waste other people's time yeah. in between rounds, <laughs> picking up darts and loading mags. I like to just... A lot of effort for uh -huh. a lot of, uh, you know, for not so much firing time. But it is cool. Yeah, definitely cool blaster, interesting shell, um, cool name, I guess. But, uh, yeah, man, I you know, I was... I was never a big fan of the mag strike, uh, you know, the... What is it? The rapid... What is the madness? The rapid, rapid madness. madness. The boom yeah, I was one? never a huge fan of that. Um, even as far back as the original uh, power clip a mm -hmm. while back, uh, Nerf's original, you know, automatic uh, clip fed blaster. Um, never really saw too much merit in those either. But I mean, 
Uh, even for indoor games, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of a full auto in general. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, man, it's really cool if you want to shoot one person, but you know, have fun spending you know the next forty five seconds reloading and priming your gun. Uh-huh. That's the part of nerfing I'm not a fan of. No, not at all. So I feel like using full auto is in a nerf scenario. You have to think of it more like you're using a shotgun. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're just gonna like jam on the trigger, fire four or five darts, and then move on. Yeah, and, sure. And then when you're talking about something that's that's clip-fed like that, we'll not talk about the rapid madness because it could yeah. use those 40s. So then basically you're just getting three shots out of your magazine. So you have a three-round shotgun. So that's the big thing, too. Uh, I mean, I understand why people enjoy running, uh, you know, the hyperfire and the uh, rapid strike, uh, mostly because, you know, being magazine-fed, you're kind of able to put on that suppressive fire a little bit, mm-hmm. um, stuff that's typically used at full-auto blasters anyway. Um, I guess with like the Destiny and uh, I guess any, you know, air bladder operated automatic gun. Um, yeah, it's it's too much ammo spent in too little time. Uh, you're really not able to play effectively with that. So uh, I guess we should, uh, you know, get ready for all the HPA comments. Yeah, right. And, you know, I think the, the thing that I am excited about, about the Destiny um, price tag, as with all Busby yeah, Blasters, is going to be super reasonable. Mm-hmm. And then modders are going to go crazy with it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean... They're gonna, we're going to see some really cool stuff that are happening. I know that uh, Make Test Battle has started it and, like, shown, yeah. like, the internals and where to move the trigger to make it more like an SMG style, which is cool. Yeah, no, I And did, people are going to start it. stacking two or three of them together and making oh, yeah. long mags and, so. yeah, hooking up uh, larger compressive tanks to them and tanks stuff. And that, that's all extent, gonna happen. People are gonna clips and everything. People are gonna start putting those in centurions, yeah. <laughs> like two of them in centurions. Like all and that's uh, gonna happen, and that's gonna be super cool. And they're affordable too, man. Mm-hmm. So I mean, these projects will be very, you know, relatively inexpensive, and uh, they do seem like fun guns to, you know, kind of play around with. But um, you know, I'm gonna have to wait and see what everybody else does before I pull the trigger on one. You know what I want to see? What's up? I want to see a gun smoke version of that. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it for us, man. So, all right, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you later.